you know what's going on. I am in full glam. Like this is literally me going out at night. This is literally me giving you guys some fucking womanhood. I'm so excited today because today we are gonna go ahead and focus on soft makeup. I have a new eyeshadow palette that I'm playing with, new lips that I'm playing with. And on top of that, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys how to put on a lace front wig and slay the game. Keep watching because it's coming up right now. Like I literally, I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time. Full glam, full face, beauty. I want you guys to feel glam. I want you guys to feel the Kimura-ness of it. My category is bronze. Um, and also, I'm not gonna turn off the camera to put on my wig. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So today we're gonna play with a lot of new products. Um, some of them I haven't touched before. Some of them I've actually forgotten about, which I'm super excited to dip back in. I'm gonna start off with my brows. I'm gonna dip into the Anastasia pomades. I haven't used these in a long time. This color is almost like a um, it's almost like a brown, blonde, auburn color. So we're gonna go ahead and dip this into here. And then let's go ahead and get this brown one. So kind of start off like that. And that's honestly just a sketch. That's not really what my brows are gonna look like at the end. Uh, sometimes I've actually thought about growing out my brow hair again, but I don't even think it's gonna grow back the same. Something that I haven't touched in a long time is the Anastasia Concealer. Go ahead and take a flat brush, just a clean brush. And we're gonna go ahead and just highlight the brow underneath just a tad bit. So it's like that. And you guys definitely have seen this before. This is really, really popular in the beauty community. Now you really, really want to blend this out. I want it to be very, very seamless. So same thing on the other side. And now these concealers go a very, very long way. Are you guys still keeping up with me? Okay, cool. Take a beauty blender. I'm excited to show you guys my soft side. This is going to be a very soft side of me as I'm just packing on a beauty blender on my highlight underneath my brow. Okay, so now that is kind of set. I'm just gonna take some translucent powder from Laura Mercier and just pack it on like that. And you just literally pack it lightly. So now we're gonna go into the face. We're gonna go right into skin. Literally when it comes to primer, I think it's super, super important. We're gonna go ahead and pull out one of my favorite primer, this is the Becca. This is Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I kind of like to kind of mix it with the foundation to kind of break up the foundation a little bit. There's some shimmers in there. We're gonna go ahead and dip into a little bit of YSL. This is All Hours Foundation. Now, honestly, you guys, this is literally what I do. This is what I fucking do. I like to wake up my skin just a tad bit with a little bit of Fix Plus. Just gotta get that skin ready. So now let's go ahead and get the Becca and let's go ahead and get some All Hours and let's go ahead and start mixing. With the Becca, I'm gonna just go ahead and do two little drops. All Hours, I'm gonna do four pumps. I think that's good. So I take a little brush and I just kind of mix in, just like that. Wow, yeah, she's stunning. Let's get this foundation on. Oh God, this is so stunning. Wow, this YSL foundation, that's stunning. I'm actually very, very obsessed. I tried the NARS one the other day and I kind of like this better than the NARS. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna pack it on with the foundation and just really get it in the crevices. So continue to kind of pack the forehead. Oh. That foundation is lit. I'm pretty much sold. So let's go ahead and get some concealer on. We're gonna conceal the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of lightness, but I'm just gonna like really jab just a little bit like that. Okay, so as that said, take a beauty blender and just really just pack it in. And I'm literally looking so close and my pores are like even covered, which is a good thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the makeup. Today we're gonna go ahead and keep it with the beauty blender and we're gonna just really, really set it lightly. There's no wrong or right way to set your fucking face. Just set your face. Press it in. And honestly, sometimes you guys, when I set with the Ben Nye translucent, I feel like my makeup gets thicker. So I really do love the Laura Mercier setting powder because it does kind of keep it really, really natural, like really, really like almost like second skin. Go ahead and take a big brush. The bigger the better and just really really fluff it around. Now just kind of let it sit for a little bit. Take a look. Everything is even. Everything is good. I get it. Now go ahead and pull up like a really really nice highlight flat color and just really Take a little bit and just kind of press it like that. Okay, so now go ahead and brush everything that's not set on. Now when it comes to bronzing, I always like to use a brush like this. This is brown because it's bronze. When I use brushes like this, it does make the contour super strong. You do get like a really, really clean line. It's almost like piercing line where it's like almost look like you have plastic surgery. When it comes to like a natural bronzer, I do like to take it up to a bigger brush and sometimes you can even go up to like this size. So today we're gonna go ahead and use some of this and we're gonna use some of this but the darker you go the bigger the brush is because if you do something super dark and a super a uh, fine brush or a tiny brush, it's gonna be really, really dark. And you'll start to get like this really weird black, which is like showgirl realness. I don't wanna see light, I wanna see bone structure. I wanna see very, very soft beauty. So go ahead and take the bronzer. Just take it and just rough it into the skin. Really just define the jaw a little bit. 
You see how it's just really, really clean here and it's really, really soft. I love to do my forehead. I think Kim Kardashian did mention how she contours. She does like an E kind of thing where it's like this. Look at that. So it's just really, really seamless. There's no lines. I'm gonna turn my head. You guys can't see lines, right? That's the whole point. Setting that down, we're gonna go and jump into this big brush here. Let's get a little darker. Let's add some more bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Morphe. This is Glamour Bronze. This is a limited piece. If you guys have not got this, go grab one right now. I bought like five. I go the fuck in on this bronzer. It's it's fucking everything. I love it. Okay, so take it and just really buff it like that. See, look at that. No lines. I do a little bit on the forehead, not too much. All right, you guys, so now we are pretty bronze. Take a clean brush and just really, where you see the separation from the highlight to the contour, you really, really want to blend it and just really kind of go back on top and just really buff it out like that. It looks seamless and it's not so like <laughs> all in your face. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the nose. And now I know y'all know my nose, I like take it down. Like I draw like a fake nose to the point where like I turn to the side and you can see like a line. It's on purpose. It's not like I don't know how to do my fucking nose. I do it for a reason. If I'm gonna do a soft nose, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a brush like so. And I'm just gonna literally pull down my nose to the point where like, you just don't really see. See how it's already kind of creating a nose. Take it into the crease. So you see it's almost like defining. Let's go ahead and set the nose. Take your beauty blender, take some loose powder and just really, really cut that nose. Now you want this to be as straight as possible and just kind of let that sit. So as that's baking, I'm gonna just take a brush again and just really brush off the eyes. Let's go ahead and just draw in some eyebrow hair. Take it and let's flick some hair. Now take a brush and let's go ahead and wipe off all powder. Look at how it's already cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some blush on. You guys are probably like, oh my god, come on. I've never seen you like so like, so light. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and play with some new stuff. Shout out to Urban Decay for sending me the new palette. This is the new honey palette. As you guys can see here, it is dripping honey. This is the PR that it comes in. So, so cute. It's giving me like we need the pool realness. So inside we do open it up just so. I've heard good, good things about this primer. I've never played with it before. So pulling this out. Here is the palette. This is what it comes in. Um, these colors go from light to dark. It's just so cute. I mean, some of the names are Keeper, Hive, Drip, Head Bitch in Charge, Sting. It's a lot of cute names that refers to honeys and bees and stuff like that. This is the palette. It has like this nice 3D, almost plastic, like feel to it, that's super dope, super bronze, I'm obsessed. Inside this is the palette, it was a little dirty, I think it's probably from like shipping or whatever happened to this. There is no slip, wow. Okay, this is very, very light. Usually my brown palettes are very, very dark. I'm gonna do as much as I can with this palette, but like I said, this is not really what Kimura would just wear just to go out, but I'm gonna try to incorporate as much of this that I can. We are gonna go ahead and also dip into the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's so cute. Okay, so it looks literally like a potion. So basically what this does, it just keeps your eyeshadow on. <gasps> oh, oh, it's like a, like a lip gloss. I've never seen a primer like this. So let's go ahead and get some of this on the lid. Is that how you're supposed to do it? I don't even know. I've never seen primer like this. It goes on almost like lotion cream, and then you can tell it's tacky. Okay, so I'm just really covering the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into these colors here, and let's see how they look on. I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my brow underneath. This color is called Flyby. Oh wow, that's pigmented. Look at that, that's so pretty. I'm like so obsessed with this already. Look at that. I'm gonna work my way to the end. I'm gonna go do a little bit of Keeper. We're not trying to experiment hella shit. I wanna look gorgeous. I'm gonna play with a little bit of Hive, some Drip, obviously some Sting, cause that's like the darkest color. Let's go ahead and get that Keeper color into the crease. You know what? They are very pigmented. Look how pigmented that is. That is stunning. Now see, I like the shape, the crease. Oh, look at that, okay. Oh my God, I'm like really obsessed. I'm gonna take some of that color, put it underneath my eyes. Oh my Okay, so next color, this is color called Drip. It's like a darker brown. Let's go ahead and just really define that nice crease. Oh my God, take that color and just really, really kind of wrap it around the entire eye. So the darkest brown is called Sting. So let's go ahead and get that into the crease as well. So same thing here. So you see how it's kind of has like that natural crease going on where it's just kind of flowing flawlessly, almost like an airbrush feel. So that's the whole point, you guys. We really, really want to just focus on giving you like that nice airbrush look. Take some more of that last brown color and just really pinch it on the eye right here. So there's a color here literally called Golden. Um, It's just like your really, really average gold color. Lightly just 
Okay, on the lid. I'm not really a gold lid person, so it's not really going well with me. I don't mind it. I actually really do like the gold. It's kind of growing on me. So now we're gonna go ahead and incorporate some black. I don't have a black shadow in this palette, but I am gonna go ahead and use a black shadow from another palette. Now I know with this black, I'm gonna have to like literally layer some powder underneath, cause bitch, I do not trust it. Let's go ahead and line the bottom with a brown liner. <gasps> Take that brown liner that I just fucked up my nose. Let's get some black in there. Let's get this deepen it up just a little bit. So get some black shadow. I mean, honestly, anything with black is just so much better. You see how it's almost like a wing? I take it, I blend up, and then I close my eyes lightly, and I kind of just really buff it light like that. And when you put in the wing liner, it's gonna blur out the line for you. Take a smaller brush and just really buff out the bottom. So that's done. Girl, y'all remember, this is just me like a normal night. Go ahead and take a liner and line the top of the eye. As that's drying, wipe up all the loose powder with a naked brush. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna highlight with today. Shout out to Kaja for sending me tons and tons of these cute little stackable eyeshadows. I'm so excited. And so far, I was like, oh my god, I love that. I was like, wait a minute, I have that. So this is what I'm gonna use to highlight today with a little bit of Laura Mercier. So remember when I said stackable? It's like literally stackable. Opening this up, I love the film. It looks just like so. So you can close it and then you can open this part and it's like this nice orange. I think these are so stunning. I don't even know which color to use. I'm gonna use the top one. I am motherfucking known for my highlight. I don't play around. I don't fucking Photoshop it. It is for real. So take a little bit of this and just really give it like that nice glow. So once that's already set, I take a brush like so and then take it and then dip it. So let's go ahead and wet it. Let's kind of see what it does when it's wet. I hope this comes out the way I want it to. Ooh, yeah, that's stunning. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. These little stackable Dark by Kaja. This is the color 02 Orange Blossom. It is stunning. Look at this side and look at this side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just really continue to do it on this side. So I'm gonna take the same color and I take it. I just run it down the nose. I always like to do the inner corner. I feel like when you do the inner corner, it just makes the eyeshadow 10 times more wow. So for lashes today, we're gonna jump into Love Lash London. Shout out to you guys for sending me amazing, amazing big lashes. I I love these. They're so big. They're fluffy. I could tell like one is going to be enough. And these lashes are called birthday. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using Doll Lash by Doll Beauty. I'm going to go ahead and do the top ones first. Okay. Now the bottom ones. Oh, that's stunning. So top and bottom lashes are on. So now we're going to go ahead and do the lips. So shout out to Gerard Cosmetics. I'm so excited to use these because I'm going to tell you guys why in a minute a long story short i was out feeling cunt and i was like trying to do my lip gloss in the dark and i couldn't even do it because i had no light no mirror and this bitch pulled out a lip gloss that had a light in the mirror and full things i was like what the fuck is that she was like drawing cosmetics what girl who do i think i am i'm like so gagged by this um and i love their pencils their pencils are Dope as fuck. I feel like this color is appropriate for this look today. Let's go ahead and light. Who do I think I am? Like, who is doing this? Now, when I go out, I love a nude look. I mean, honestly, I love a nude lip, period. And I overdraw like a motherfucker. Oh my god. Y'all, this liner is so beautiful. This one's called Sugar and Spice. Gerard Cosmetics, I love y'all so much. What the fuck? You guys, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the light and see how bright this shit is. I'm gonna put this fucking lip gloss on in the motherfucking dark. All right, I'm in the dark. I am gonna feel so kind. Oh, oh my God, this is like, bitch, who the fuck do I think I am right now? Oh my God, this is like fucking amazing. Hi, did you lose your keys, sir? Bitch, I'm gonna be helping out everybody. Hi, do you have a problem? All right, you guys, so I totally never did my lip gloss in the dark. How the fuck does it look? Let's get some mascara on these lashes and really make sure they pop. Wow, work, bitch. Now I'm officially done. It is time. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to slay a wig super fast, ready to go. There's a couple of steps to putting on the full wig. We're gonna go ahead and make sure I have a wig cap on. So I usually take it and I just kind of stretch it out like so. Now I don't fully put it on all the way. A lot of people like to kind of cut it. I like to fold it. I mean, if you really want to like slay a wig and make sure it's like seamless, you can cut it. Um, and obviously I don't need it. I just don't like the feeling of the wig. Now I know the whole world raves about the got to be family. I mean, I use it too, especially when it comes to shows because it's a quick instant. It's 
does the job. But there's a couple of things here that I have that I actually used before and I'm so excited. The Aura B, this is the super fine strong hairspray, which is amazing. So I'm going to unpack it. The packaging comes like this. So you guys can pick these up on their Instagram. Also, if you go are like by a Nordstrom's or a Neiman Marcus, um, these are there as well. They are amazing. You can't miss them because the packaging is so luxurious and I love it. Now, if you are someone that uses hairspray religiously every single day and you like spray, baby, let me tell you something. I get it. I ain't gonna spend $42 a week. For human wigs, I like to kind of have it treated with something nice just so it lasts long because y'all know, bitch, human wigs cost a lot. If I'm gonna have an expensive wig, I'm gonna have an expensive hairspray. So I'm gonna take some of the hairspray. I'm just gonna spray my forehead a little bit, but right next to the wig cap and the tip of the forehead. And then I take the wig. Now I do this thing where like I go on backwards. And you wanna make sure like the lace is super like flat. So now what I do is I put on the wig. So you see how I like do it kind of halfway just like that. Now what I do is I take it because I wanna make sure my parting is super straight, just like that. And I take my finger, I take the spray. And it kind of gives you the illusion of it's growing out of your scalp which y'all know I'm bald, y'all just saw me. And I take my fingers and I really press it in there. You guys, I literally do this so fast. And what I do to make it secure, I kind of go like this and I pull the back down. So I kind of like to kind of just check and really see if it's like super straight. So you guys making sure it's like, it's not moving. So it's pretty much on. So I kind of take my fingers, comb through it. Take some hairspray, the same thing. And then I love when it comes to wigs to kind of do like this nice little dip, like this little curl here. Voila! All right, you guys, I had so much fun. Now, what do you guys think? I hope you guys got a lot, a lot of tips from me today. That is the main goal today, you guys, is for me to share my secrets of me going out on the regular. Also, just making it look very like, yeah, bitch, like you that motherfucking boss bitch. So I want to take this time also to thank you guys for watching this. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not subscribed yet. I love making videos for you guys. It's just one of my passions. In the meantime, I love you guys so much. Happy October. Hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram. I will see you guys in a few days.